Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Phil Studio. Today is a great day because we're going to do some experiment with different piezo microphone. Okay, so someone asked me uh, about these different sized piezo disc uh, and if there was a difference between them except for the, the size and honestly I really don't know my guess is that the bigger the piezo is the larger you have for the, the, the contact surface which make it maybe easier to vibrate but I'm not sure if it will influence the sensitivity or even the frequency response so today we're going to do some tests with my scope and a little setup I've installed for you Okay, so here is my setup. I'm glad I'm, I'm keeping all my phone uh, instead of throwing them into the trash. So I have my iPhone to generate a frequency with a free app called Function Generator. It's plugged into this low power amplifier, uh, which is connected into this big speaker, 15 watts. Um, and under we have the small, the first piezo microphone here this is the medium and the large we have the small one which, which is tacked um, with the blue putty uh, it's plugged into my scope and I have my third phone fortunately to do some shot of the scope uh, okay so I hope this don't get too messy and I have two mark here to place the speaker I hope always at the same spot. So we'll go for uh, 30 Hertz frequency up to 80 Hertz and we'll compare the frequency response of each of these microphones in a low frequency. And because it's science, I know like probably all of these piezo are pretty unique and have some distortion harmonic and natural resonance stuff so in the next episode I'll just tag them to my guitar and I will play like the same exact chord progression and I'll compare the small the medium and the large piezo and it will give us a good idea of what are the main differences between all these piezo disc microphone so let's go for the 30 Hz frequency I'll add just the volume here because I don't want to burn up the amplifier and I'm gonna lock it in place so each piezo gets the same uh, the same volume from the speaker so here we have the frequency which is 30 Hz but it's around we're in the 200 millivolt division. It looks like something maybe 300, 350, 300 millivolt. Yeah, sounds accurate. So I'll go with the 40 hertz. Still something like. Uh, Three hundred to an eighty millivolt. Here we have the fifty hertz. Something pretty much the same. Two fifty, three hundred millivolt. Sixty or now. Oh, the volume seems to be a little bit lower now. We have something like two hundred millivolt. I'll go with seventy. Still have something like two hundred millivolt and eighty hertz. Like it's getting smaller, one eighty millivolt. 
volt, something like that. I'll switch the microphone now. We'll go from the small to the medium sized one. the medium size try to place it at the same spot and there's something special with these microphone I don't know if you've noticed the center here is the positive signal by default and the ring like the outer part or like the outer part or all the flat surface is the negative signal uh, and you can see the between these two the center is pretty much the same size and for this one it's not the case but it's just the external part that gets larger so I'm curious to see uh, what's the difference I'll plug the scope make sure it's in place you can see the speaker moving right now because it's I'm uh, shooting 3 Hertz this is pretty cool. Hmm. This is like really a linear movement. I think it could be cool in robotic to use a speaker to just push and pull something repeatedly. Well, this is the subject probably of another video, just saying. So we're going to throw some 30 Hz to the medium sized piezo disc. Oh wow. I'm not sure if I messed up here because the volume is like much higher. Well, not the volume but the sensitivity and the amplitude of the signal. We have something like 2, 4, 5 500 millivolt. This is really impressive. So we'll go for the 40 hertz frequency. We still have something like 450, probably 500. I'm just gonna place it on the line. Okay, yeah, the speaker was moving. Sorry. So we have 400 millivolt here. That's a good signal. We'll go with the 50 hertz signal. And I'll place the microphone again, the speaker on the right spot. We still have something like to 400 millivolt. Go with the 60 hertz. Five hundred, five hundred, something like five hundred millivolts. I'll go with seven yards now. Still five hundred millivolts. We'll go with eight yards now for the last frequency. Still the 500 millivolt signal. This is pretty impressive because we went from 200 millivolt, 300 millivolt to something like 4, 500 millivolt with this piezo. But it could be uh, a, a human, a human error because by the the, the placement, maybe the the speaker is touching more and it make it vibrate more i'm not sure this is this is not like a nasa test this is just the phil studio but i pretty enjoy doing this kind of experiment and it gives me a better idea of what i'm doing and what these piezo microphone are made for but really don't miss the next episode in which i will just swap the three microphone and record the same guitar chords progression. I'm sure this is something that's gonna be good because we're gonna hear all of the spectrum, the audio spectrum, because currently I'm just generating like a unique frequency 
a, a sine wave frequency because a square wave would be uh, some would mean some some pop some DC voltage going through the amp and this is not what I want to generate right now the sine wave is perfect for for vibrating the surface because what I'm doing right now is just making the the wooden plate vibrate and capture the sound with this piezo mic which is fixed on the surface of the wooden plate okay so I'll place the, the speaker at the same spot hope so hopefully we'll go with the 30 Hertz frequency we're going to check the scope so we have something like Two hundred millivolt, but you can see there's a major differences between the the shape of the wave captured from a piezo to another one, and this is really interesting. This is something we definitely want. We will better experience with the the guitar playing. Oh, you can see uh, the the small spike. I think because the the piezo is, is pretty large, maybe it's vibrating and, and inducing itself some other vibration frequency, some distortion harmony, something like that. It's pretty interesting. Still 200 millivolt at 50 Hertz. That's really interesting. I think the, the shape is a bit cleaner, but looks more like a sawtooth or a triangle wave we'll go with the 60 years we still have something like 200 millivolt so the uh, we'll go with the 70 Hertz. still 200 millivolt for that frequency, we'll go with 80 Hertz. Oh, it's getting 200 millivolt. So that's pretty much what what will conclude our experiment for today. And by the way, uh, this phone was starting to die. Uh, it was a really interesting experience to do, but. In my opinion, it's probably not really accurate because we we have to hear the differences. Just seeing it on the scope is not enough for me. And that's why I will do another episode, uh, probably this week. It will be about the same three uh, piezo contact element I've used in this experiment. I will use the small one. I'll plug it into my recorder. I'll add just the gain to a flat, to a descent spot. I will play something. I'll mark the spot on the guitar so each microphone goes on the same spot, exact same spot because it can vary the the sound. And then I'll put these three, the three track of all the piezo, and we we're gonna be able to listen to the differences and and try to hear what are the major differences uh, between the three take. So, I hope you, ex you, you enjoyed that experiment. Anyway, it was pretty fun to do. A quick setup, trying some piezo disc. Um, and see you uh, really soon for a more experiment with piezo disc. And meanwhile, I think you could check out my video on how to make your own Russell Salt Crystal. And these crystals are used to create piezo disc microphone. Uh, and probably next week, I will try and experiment and compare these piezo disc with the blue crystal microphone. See ya.